Hello, Potato, for the last time in this video series. This is part five, the ultimate part, the final part, the last part of LEGO Kit 10273, the Fairground Collection Haunted House, which I am not building for the fairground, but for the Halloween display. 3,231 pieces of creepy LEGO ride goodness. Of course, parts one through four, we've put together all of this. Basically, here in the fifth part, uh, we just have left bags 17 and 18, which are each actually two bags, so four bags, but two parts. And that should pretty much just be all the missing minifigures, the top of the tower up here, and hopefully, because I do see in bat in the well section 18, there are some more like techniky bits. Hopefully. Something that makes this all come together to actually do something. Because, like, right now, these and this don't seem to actually be connected to each other. And I am legitimately a little concerned that I've done something horribly, horribly wrong way back at the beginning. And uh, this is not going to function properly. Also, this, if you didn't watch the last part, this is probably the hardest part of this to put together. Not because it's difficult, but because it requires putting together two lengths of 73 link chain. Yeah, that was fun. I know. And then managing to string it through this tower and around these two gears, only to find out that I had apparently not counted the chains correctly and had to add a couple more links in to make it fit. But yeah, if you watched the last part, you saw that, although you saw it considerably faster than I lived it. But yeah, this, that's the past. This is the present. Let's move on to the future so we can finish putting this together and then go put it in the Halloween display. There's a big hole that's gonna be in that display waiting just for this. So I guess without any more talk, any more jibber jabber, let's get the last two sections of this done and go straight to the fast forward.
And there we have it. At long last, Kit 10273, the Fairground Collection Haunted House. All 3,231 pieces put together. Well, I mean, not all of them. There are, there are extras. There are always extras. But the pieces that are meant to be put together are all put together. So let's see what we've got at the end of it all. So, of course, we've got... Not that you can see it, I think, from this angle, but we've got our magical opening doors. I don't, I don't think that we're really high enough to see that, but you know, you've seen that in the older videos in parts one and two, and you can go back and look at that again. We've got our two plus foot tower, taller than the box it came in, quite probably taller than any kit I've ever put together. Um, I think that I think the kit tallest before this is probably the Ghostbuster Firehouse, and this is definitely taller than that. And, but it, it's all done now. We've got our lovely little graveyard in the front here. We've got our ghosts. We've got our ride operators. who are probably gonna have to move and go away because this is for the Halloween display. And of course at the back, we did eventually at the end, come to a bit that made this all join together. Yep, we have a little crank here now. So joining all this chain together, everything works now. This little bit here seems to basically disconnect the crank from the ride mechanism. So I guess if you don't want it to, to move anymore, if you want to like freeze the ride in a particular position, you can do that there. And then over here stuff just kind of sticks out and I don't know what it's for. Maybe some sort of addition thing. But over here is where you, I think you'd put in, well, maybe this is where you're supposed to put the motor in. That's probably what it is. Cause yeah, the, that probably, next to the motor. I was thinking the motor would just go in over here, but no, this is probably where you put the motor block if you want to power this thing. Let's take a look back at the front. If I can turn it around without the whole thing coming apart. There really should be something at the front here to lock these closed. I'll probably have to do that just down the road. Find a piece that looks good there and lock it closed. Let's open up and look inside because you know if you've come in through the doors, now we're inside. Now we have the rest of our minifigures now. We have this little hipster girl who has multiple faces. We have the, who else do we have in here? I think we just have, oh, we have uh, this one. We have a Karen. That's a Karen minifigure. I know because she asked to see the manager as soon as they put her together. She also has two faces. She has her displeased, please give me your manager face, and her uh, upset face. I think when the manager has told her that they're not going to do anything special for her and she can just go away. Which is frankly what stores should do to Karens. Because when you do things for them that you wouldn't do for other people, you encourage more Karens. And then we have our ride vehicle here, which has our last two figures in it. And he only has one face. But it makes sense because he has sideburns. And if you had him on the other way around, the sideburns... No, I guess actually they wouldn't. They would blend up in, in the inside of him. But if I do set the sideburns, that could look a little weird if you didn't get the hair on quite right. But he doesn't get a second face. And also, I mean, you know, while the sideburns might have been the reason he doesn't get a second face, there's no excuse for her not having a second face. Because, uh... Yeah, her hair completely covers like most of her head. So that's really not an issue for her. She is apparently a fan of the squids. Don't know what team they are. New NB, I guess that's Newberry. So is she, is this, I mean, I know there are references to other things in here. I, I'm thinking the Ogle thing here may have been like the old spy series. And I think the uh, reference to Sam Sidious is running from the cops and there's like a Lego City thing. I'm guessing she's referenced to Hidden Side, which I'm pretty sure has been discontinued. I haven't seen like a series three of that stuff come I do like, this is kind of a doom buggy-ish ride vehicle, but it is meant to come out. It just connects to the back here on this little red piece, connects to the inside of the elevator, which I'm thinking is a piece that's probably going to crumble first. Uh, I've got some other sets 
where pieces like this have just kind of degraded and crumbled on their own. Also, very, very low uh, efficiency ride. You're not gonna get a lot of people on this ride per hour. Not a, not gonna get that line moving very fast. Good thing there's only a few people. But you now, once they're seated in there, which they don't seem to want to do particularly well, uh, do not lower the lap bar. I will do it for you. There we go. And see it, she's already popped loose. Guess that's why there's a lap bar, isn't there? But that's kind of annoying. She does not, they don't want to seem to want to stay in the ride vehicle. But once they're in there, you just slide them in. There should be a click when you get it in place. There we go. And then you reach around the back here, which is a little difficult to do from this angle, but you turn the crank and up they go. You can see them in the window there. And when they get to the top, the door is open. And you, yeah, you can see it on camera, right? Yep. Doors open. They can look out at the, all the people and then down they go. Very nice, very nice. It's nice that it works. And so I can see now that these pieces are here to slow its descent, to take some of that uh, fall force and spin it out through these big wheels to slow the ride down without it slamming into the bottom and really impacting on those little rubber bumpers. Because again, I, I think those rubber bumpers in a couple years time, those bumpers are gonna degrade and not work anymore. They're probably gonna crumble. Let's see what it looks like from the backside. So the ride vehicle catches on to these little gray things. I think I commented in the last video about them uh, just being connector pieces. They're not, they are actually what the ride hooks onto. And can you see it? Yeah, you can sort of see it in there. There's the connector piece there, but it brings up and then as it reaches the top, the that gray piece kind of slides out of alignment. It's pulled out of alignment by the turning of the wheel. So you can see it holding right there. I think you probably can't see that. Let's tilt up a little bit. There's a little, couple little gray pieces in the back of the elevator. This is holding on to. So when you turn up past a certain point, down it goes. And then, yeah, then we can see that these little wheels down here catch some of that force and slow the vehicle down before it hits the bottom. Very nicely done. Now that said, I, I, there's a very real possibility that when I set this up next season, because I'm not gonna use it as a ride, I'm using it in my Halloween display, as I said, I think in every single video in this series, I think I may chop out a couple levels of the drop tower, because I'm gonna take this off to put it away anyways. This is not gonna fit into a bin right set up, and I don't wanna lay it down on top of that chain, because I'd be afraid of the chain getting broken anyways. Also, I'm kind of worried of the chain becoming brittle and falling apart as well over time, just like I am that piece holding the uh, the right vehicle together. But yeah, I, I think this might look, a, I think this is gonna look a little, little standout-ish in the village, just because it is so tall. I could lose those two. Actually, you know, I guess I could lose the door and just put the roof down to there. And it might look a little more normal. I don't know. We'll see. That's, that's next year. That's a next year problem. That's not a this year problem. This year, we're just going to enjoy it the way it is. With the little, little demon light and everything. Again, I think I said before, not as, I don't feel it's as detailed as the old, uh, Monster Fighter's house, but it is very nicely detailed. And for a ride, I, I think it's very nicely detailed for the, the fiction of it being a carnival ride. I do like they've done this here. It's kind of a combination of the Haunted Mansion and the, the old Tower of Terror ride. And yeah, overall, I'm very satisfied with it. I think it looks very nice. I mean, it's not a, not, I don't think it's really a play with toy, but it's, you know, it's in the black adult fan of Lego box. It's not really meant to be a play with toy. It is, however, very, very tall. Hence the fact that even on the widest setting, the camera has trouble getting the whole thing in one shot, but it's done. And that means that all we have left to do now is take it and go put it in the Halloween display. So uh, let's go and do that. That, did a piece fall out? No, I don't think anything could go there. That, that's a piece falling out. I didn't notice uh, this before. 
I don't like that. I still think that I may have put something together wrong here. That seems like that should fit better than it does. Anyways, anyways, let's go put it in place and finish this series of videos. And there we have it in place, the Fairground Collection Haunted Mansion or Haunted House in with the rest of the Halloween village. Let's take a little look around the village. So, yep, there we have our house. Oh, I do need to close the doors though. Those don't need to be open. And yeah, this is a number of years of collecting. The original piece, of course, being the old Monster Fighters house here. But, and there are some, uh, some knockoff figures in here. There is, of course, our Five Nights at Freddy's figures from the SAC anime. And Freddy there is a knockoff. But we do have the real Scooby van, the old Ecto-1 meeting the slightly less old Ecto-1. I really do, that's like the best thing about the uh, Ghostbusters attempted reboot was the Ecto-1, it was a nice design. And yep, the original one, the thing that started it all, the Monster Fighters Haunted House. And then that actually is the Scooby-Doo, like I think it was Vampire's Castle, I think is what it was called. Although I could be confusing that with the uh, the Monster Fighters Vampire Castle, which is, I think, the only Monster Fighter set I never actually got. And yes, down there, of course, we do have the TARDIS, because there's always a Doctor Who in all of my displays. Ever since they made that set, he's in everything. We have our zombie Captain America from the Marvel Studios battling a, unfortunately, not legitimate Deadpool. I never got that set, and it's like 300 bucks on Amazon, so I probably never will. There's always hope they'll do a new Deadpool, though, because, uh, you know, they did the Punisher in the Daily Planet set. So, they, you know, they always could do another Daredevil. Daredevil? They did Daredevil in that set, too, but another Deadpool down the road. So, there used to be, before the Haunted House, there was a graveyard section in this display. If you look back to, like, last year's pictures on the at Void of Intelligence Instagram, you'll see it. But between the Haunted House and the Haunted Shrimp Shack there from the Hidden Side series, which I modified to put the shrimp boat on top of, um, yeah, there just wasn't room anymore. But what I did create last year was a Haunted Hayride section, because they actually had, like, a little Haunted Hayride set. And so I have uh, moved most of the graveyard stuff into the Haunted Hayride area. We have, you know, some of those sets that are just meant to kind of be little, like, desk displays. We have some hidden side stuff. We have this Harry Potter. This is, like, the second one. This came out, I think, last year, year before. There was a Tom Riddle's Grave set, like, that came out when the movie originally came out. And, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I got it. I th honestly, I think the, uh, the gravestone in that one was a little cooler. And then over here we have some more Monster Fighter stuff. Yeah, and the little tractor that just kind of drives around. I think the driver's dressed as a mummy. Yeah, I need to put get some like some of the green green paper to go on the bottom. And this uh, this VW Beetle or VW van that doesn't belong there at all. It just kind of keeps making its way back into the display, no matter how many times I move it. Yep, that is our Halloween display, and I realize. I'm releasing this video probably too early because I'm not going to have anything actually for uh, Halloween. Halloween falls on a Sunday this year and I'm not going to have a Halloween video ready for it. Oh well. We'll do something that day. It just won't necessarily be Halloween. Anyways, I hope you found this whole series of videos, five of them, to be interesting or entertaining. If you did, please give the videos a like. Give all of them a like. All of them. All five of them a like. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Happy, uh, well, for me, early Halloween, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, happy late Halloween? Happy next Halloween? Happy Halloween.